Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today iOS 5.0.1 was officially released to the public and I'm going to be doing a video discussing iOS 5.0.1, whether or not you should update to 5.0.1 and also too, I'm going to give you guys some information on the status of the iOS 5 and iOS 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak. So to start off, I have an iPod touch here. It's a fourth generation, as you can tell by the camera and inside of settings general about, it does say that I am on 5.0. All right, so there we go. It does say 5.0 for the version, and we're going to back on out of here. And now I'm just going to discuss iOS 5.0.1. So again, it was released today to address battery life issues that certain users have been experiencing. It turns out that most of the time it's a bug in the software that is causing the battery to drain extremely fast, and it's mostly affecting iPhone 4S users. However, it can also affect iPod Touch and iPad users users as well as users who have earlier iPhone models. So as you can see right here, I actually just got a notification during this video, which is perfect, saying that iOS 5.0.1 is now available for my iPod. So I didn't even plan on that. It just came through because again, this is part of the over the air update feature that is built into iOS 5 onwards. So here we go. It does say that I need to update so we can hit details here and it's going to check for an update and then let me know that I have uh, iOS 5.0.1 waiting for me and I can install it. So don't install it if you want an untethered jailbreak sooner rather than later. Now I'm going to discuss that, but first I'm just going to do an over the air update demonstration because I don't really care because this is my iPod touch. So we're going to hit install now and I'm going to show you how you would perform an over the air update. So you can hit agree and it will just continue with this. You can also plug it into iTunes and update it that way. However, since this is a new feature, the over-the-air update, I figured I'd just demonstrate it in this video. All right, so that's basically what iOS 5.0.1 is, and if you are having battery issues, you might wanna upgrade. However, once you update to iOS 5.0.1, you cannot downgrade because of the new way Apple verifies iOS. So again, if you do decide to update, there is no going back to iOS 5, and that leads us into the status of the untethered jailbreak. So there will be an untethered jailbreak coming for iOS 5. However, it will not be for iOS 5. 5.0.1 at least for now and that's primarily because the code signing bug that Charlie Miller discovered was patched in iOS 5.0.1 and basically that code signing bug will dramatically decrease the time that's required to create an untethered jailbreak so at first, there will not be an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1. However, eventually there will be an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1 and other firmwares in the future. Also, I will have a link to an article down below in the more info that describes everything I've talked about and it goes into depth on it. And again, it basically just summarizes what I've told you in this video, basically that the code signing bug has been patched and that once you upgrade to iOS 5.0.1, 0.1, you cannot go back to iOS 5 because the old way of downgrading does not work anymore. All right, so here's my iPod. It's still updating. I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up and I will come back and let you guys know how long it took to actually perform the update. All right, so we're now back, and that only took about an additional two and a half minutes to completely finish that process. So I did do an over-the-air update from iOS 5 to iOS 5.0.1, but again, you guys probably shouldn't do that if you want an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5. I just did it basically to give you guys a demonstration and also to give you guys something extra to look at while I've been talking about the status of the iOS 5 untethered jailbreak. All right, so here we go, it is back up. And inside of settings, general about, 
I'm going to show you guys that now I am indeed on iOS 5.0.1. As you can see at the bottom for the version, it says 5.0.1. So I hope this video cleared some things up for you guys in regards to the 5.0 and 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak status. Also, I notify my followers and fans on both Twitter and Facebook whenever I post an update related to the status of a jailbreak. So just be sure to follow my Twitter accounts and like my Facebook fan page. I'll have links to that down below in the more info as well. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.